What's up guys, it's a wonderful Tuesday and you know what that means. It's time for a video. So today, I'm going to show you a video of me talking to you awesome people because that's what I'm doing. I'm doing that right now. Uh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Tuesday, 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 Tuesday. <laughs> so today I'm gonna tell you guys about the five things that I learned from working in a retail store. When I first walked into this shoe store to apply for a job, I was like, oh yeah, this is gonna be so much fun. It's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna have the best experience of my life in this retail because I'm gonna be working with people and it's just gonna be great. Little did I know, I was in for quite the ride. I first walk into this place and I easily get the job. I mean, I walk in, I'm like, hey, are you guys hiring? The district manager is there. He's like, oh yeah, we're hiring. We just got our new manager right here and she needs some employees. So I'm like, all right, all right. I'm talking to this guy about, about college. I'm like, yeah, I'm talking to him about college. I'm definitely getting this job because I'm talking about college, which means I do something with my life. Anyway, to make that long story short, I walk in, talk to the district manager, apply for the job that same day, come in the next day, talk to the manager, I get hired, and I start working there. Alright? So now let's get to the five things I learned. Number one! Shipment is not fun. I started off in the shipment area of the store, I was more back there than I was in the front of the store, and I started off and, and I was like, oh yeah, this shipment is cool, because I'm moving faster than everybody else. I was moving really, really quick, quicker than normal. I might have some special abilities, I don't know. But anyway, I was doing shipment, it was a lot of fun. I was like, oh yeah, shipment, yes, yes. And we were only, we were only getting small shipments, like yeah, this is easy, this is great. But then when the holidays came, shipment was the worst thing I had ever experienced in my life. We would get up to 500 big boxes, no not big boxes, what am I saying? We'd get up to 500 shoe boxes, and like 30, maybe 40, maybe even 50 big boxes with these small shoe boxes in them. And who had to open every single one of those big boxes? Check the shoes, check that each pair was there, all that fun stuff this guy right here it wasn't fun it was the worst experience of my life not the worst it was it was one of the worst experiences of my life number two repetitive soundtracks are really boring I was thinking oh maybe if I have all of my favorite songs one after the other on this soundtrack it would be amazing but I learned in about a week or two of the same songs that I loved over and over again that it's not fun. You, you, you learn to not like those favorite songs you had which forces you to learn or listen to new favorite songs. Find new favorite songs. Number three, customers can get really, really, really annoying or rude, whatever you want to call it. I dealt with a lot of lots and lots of customers especially during the holiday season and during the holiday season it's not pretty it's not fun you get the rudest customers and then you get those customers who say they're gonna be back but then they never come back I would deal with customers who would like walk in they try on every pair of shoes they were like oh yeah these fit perfect these fit perfect these fit perfect these were made for me and they're like oh wait let me go uh, run to the ATM and I'll be right back. I'm like, come on, dude. You're running to the ATM. The f one, one thing I started to think was, why don't you just use the card that you're going to put in the ATM to pay for these shoes right now? Instead of going all the way to the ATM, making more work for yourself, getting the money out with that card, and coming back. I don't know. There may be something else that I'm not thinking about. But you get... You get rude customers, they're like, oh, give me this shoe, give me that shoe, give me those shoes over there, I can't fit this, I can't fit that. Those are the kind of customers that make me mad. But, being me, I was able to, I was able to keep it in and just, I'll get you shoes for you, no worries, I got you, you're fine, yeah. Number four. Transferring shoes out of stores and taking transfer ins is one of the longest processes 
that I dealt with in that store. I mean, if you get like a few boxes you have to transfer out, that's fine, but our store, our store was a little behind on our transfer outs. And that started happening before I was given the, 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 I guess, ability to work on these transfer outs. So I get moved up to key holder in this shoe store and I gotta start working on all the transfer outs. And it wasn't fun. It took me, it took me a whole shift, a whole shift to work on those transfer outs. You gotta, you gotta grab the shoe, make sure the sizes are right, and make sure it's left and right shoe, no right and right or left and left. Then you gotta make sure it looks very pretty in the box. Then you gotta put the top on the box. Then you gotta find a small box to put that shoe box in. Then you gotta find all the cushioning stuff to put in. Sometimes we don't have all that stuff, so we have to run around to other other stores to to get those boxes, which wasn't it wasn't fun. Um, so, and then after that, you gotta go to the computer, you gotta type in all this stuff, address, you gotta double check multiple times to make sure you don't mess anything up. And then you gotta print out this thing, this piece of paper, then you gotta go grab this little sticker thing, put that paper in it, then you gotta nicely, nicely put that, nicely put that paper on, on, on the box. And then after that, you gotta go and grab the tape and put the tape on the box. And it sucks when you run out of tape because then that just stops the whole process and it makes you have to do it another day when you get more tape. Um, then, then, you're finally done. But it's kind of worse when you get multiple box, uh, shoe boxes that go in one box and all that. Yeah, I don't know. But that's transfer outs, which wasn't fun. I wish to never do transfer outs at a shoe store ever again. Number five, you gotta move fast. Have you ever, if you have worked in a shoe store, or maybe any other store where you're doing customer service, um, uh, face to face, individually working with these people, um, if you if you ever worked in those settings, then you would know that you can't have somebody ask you for something. You run in the back and you take forever. That's happened to me a few times, and I lost custom. I'm scratching my butt. I don't know if you can tell. But anyway, that's happened to me a few times and I lost customers. You gotta be able to move fast, fast, fast. And what sucks about that is if you're trying to move fast and somebody doesn't put the shoes back in the right place, but your computer system says you have it, it makes it a lot harder to move fast because then you find yourself searching through areas you shouldn't be searching because the shoes should not be in any other area except for the ones that they were designated to ban. So that's number five. You gotta be able to move fast or your customers will leave you. They will leave and then you'll just feel horrible and then that's money you didn't make. So that's number five. And that's all I have for this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Uh, comment in the section below. Tell me what you like. Tell me what you don't like. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe, subscribe. Wait, this is thumbs up. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Comment, 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 comment. Subscribe and subscribe and subscribe and subscribe. And yeah, um, subscribe to my channel if you want to see a video every Tuesday and Thursday. So yeah, I'm going to see you guys next time. Bye.